Like what are the programs that you have analyzed in India? Like for example, I think many of us are interested uh, uh, in, in, uh, in, in MG Narega or for that matter, the efficacy of uh, direct benefit transfers. You know, so maybe you can start off with yeah, well, when you first ask what have you analyzed in India, I was going to ask name a sector. It's likely we have something there. Uh, so cur just at the moment, we have uh, 35 active projects. And over the time, uh, JPAL has been active in India since uh, all, almost 10 years now. It's getting to be 10 years uh, since 2007. And we have, so we have done a number of things across sectors in education, in environment, in health. And so in energy, um, they are... Um, several things we've done. One, uh, both of them closely related to this question of direct benefit transfers. Um, the, neither of them are about the impact on energy on people for uh, reasons that will become clear in a moment. Uh, the first one, one that uh, both of us were involved with uh, is a project we did in Bihar, which is uh, where Bihar is a place where there is very low implementation of energy, very, very low. Very few people get it, even though there is a high demand for it. So a lot of people report, for example, in the NSS, that they would like to work for energy, but don't find jobs. So that seems to be really constrained by the availability of jobs. So there are various reasons for that to be true. Uh, at the time, we had uh, a relationship with uh, Mr. Santosh Matthews, who is now in the MORD in Delhi, but at the time was in, in Bihar, and who had the hypothesis that one of the constraining factors was that the panchayat officials didn't have the, weren't never sure whether they would in fact have money to pay the people that they hired because the fund flow is somewhat non transparent. So he proposed to uh, pilot a system which uh, involves, uh, if you want a direct benefit, not to the individual, but to the panchayat. So now a panchayat pradhan, when they need something, uh, when they want to hire, say I want to hire a budget, I don't have to request money from the block, which get it from the district, which get it from the center. I can write down an invoice, electronic invoice, it goes straight to the Central Bank of India who is sending me money into my account. So that's you who money. means the beneficiary. The panchayat. So the that panchayat. stops at the panchayat. And then in this case, that stops at the panchayat, then the panchayat puts the money into uh, the postal account for the beneficiary. So that last step was still manual. That's one thing we did. Meanwhile, in Andhra Pradesh, another team worked on the complement of that flag, which is uh, the direct transfer to the beneficiary instead of going to the postal account system and doing it manually. It has have a unique ID, um, biometrically ident uh, enabled system where people, uh, uh, some people from banks coming with these little, little tellers in the village, people put in their fingerprint and they get, uh, they get money uh, immediately. So these two things are two programs that were implemented on a huge scale, on an experimental scale, but on a huge scale. In our case, it was 1,000 treatment treatment panchayat, 2,000 control panchayats, so about 20 million people uh, were covered by the experiment. The Andhra Pradesh experiment were roughly of the, of the same size. What is interesting, what we found, so our idea, our hope was that it was going to increase the take up of energy and, um, and therefore it would also be, we could use that as a leverage to know the impact of the energy on the people. Uh, so we were a little bit dismayed in the course of the experiment when we realized that in the treatment, in the places where the program was put in place, the experiment on energy was going down and down and down compared to the con treatment. So we were saying something's not exactly what we were expecting. And yet, there was no evidence that it was, the program was less present, but money was going down. So it, we realized that there was another aspect to this system that we had, that was more, much more important than we thought. In addition, from the pre predictability of the money, is the it's the uh, effect on transparency, because now you cannot get money unless you you say I want the money to pay Abhijit, and so it becomes very easy for someone to go and check that Abhijit exists, which is not a given. A lot of people who are on the energy uh, dot in uh, database uh, don't exist, or they live in another village, or they've never heard of energy, or they've heard of energy but they haven't worked there, or they have worked but much less than they are claimed to have worked. 
So this is where the big source of the leakage comes in, is people are invented for the purpose of the system. But now it's harder to do, because instead of entering the names of these people six months later, you do it immediately. There is, in principle, an ability to control what you're doing. And so what we realized at the end, we, we, we went and surveyed the people and traced down the difference between what people, the real experience of the people and, the, and what is reported in the system. And we realized that what happened is a huge drop in, not huge, but a pretty significant drop in, uh, in these ghost workers. Uh, so people, uh, there was basically the first order, a first order effect of this uh, program was to reduce, uh, reduce corruption, reduce leakage. 